Welcome to Camtasia Studio 7. If you're new to Camtasia Studio and you want to get started quickly, you're in the right place. We encourage you to watch this five minute video to learn the basics of using the editor, including how to navigate the timeline, make some basic edits, and add special effects. The preview window is where you see the video during playback. The playback controls are located under the preview window. In fact, the video you're watching in the preview window is a sample project playing directly from the timeline you see below. After you watch this video, we hope you take some time to practice what you've learned using the content on the timeline. So let's start with the timeline. This is where you assemble and edit your videos. At the top of the timeline, tick marks represent time in terms of minutes and seconds. When building a video, you work in a horizontal manner beginning from the left and moving sequentially through time towards the right. To make precise cuts and selection, use the zoom slider to magnify the view of the timeline. And when adding elements to your video, such as a callout or audio clips, these are placed on different tracks. Tracks are created automatically, when you need them, when elements are added to the timeline. So depending on your video, you may be working with several tracks at one time. To change the position of an element on the timeline, just drag it. To change the length of an element, drag the edges in either direction. An important part of the timeline is the playhead. The playhead moves the timeline and indicates the current frame displayed in the preview window. To view your video, click play in the preview window. Notice how the video and the timeline's playhead stay in sync? Click anywhere on the timeline and the playhead moves to that point. The green section of the playhead is called the end point. Click and drag the end point to make the beginning of a selection. The red section of the playhead is called the out point. Just click and drag the out point to make the end of a selection. To bring the sections of the playhead back together, double click the gray playhead. To split a video clip, Position the playhead at the desired location and click the split button. And if you want to remove a portion of your video, make a selection with the in and out points, then click the cut button. If you make a mistake while editing, click the undo button. Next, we'll look at the clip bin and the library. The clip bin holds recordings, audio files, images, and title slides being used in the project you're currently working on. Then there's the library. It stores video clips, intros, callouts, title slides, and other elements that you want to use from project to project. The library is also pre-populated with professional animations, music, sound effects, and other content you can use in your video for free. To add your own clips or video sequences to the library, make a selection on the timeline, right click, and choose Add to Library. To include clips and other elements in your video, drag them from the clip bin or library and drop them onto the timeline. The tabs located above the timeline are task pages used for adding and editing special effects. You can add callouts to emphasize a key point. You can insert a transition between clips for a professional look. Apply zoom and pan effects to focus on important details. And draw attention to the cursor by changing the color, size, and more. If you double click an element on a track, the playhead moves to the beginning of that element and its task page opens, allowing you to make edits to that element. So we've shown you a few ways you can navigate and edit your video, but how do you get content into your video? Well, to make a new screen recording, click the Record Screen button. If you already have an audio or video recording to use, click the Import Media button. When you've made edits and added effects to your video, and you're ready to share it, you need to produce the project to create a shareable video. Click the Produce and Share button, step through the wizard, and Camtasia Studio creates a viewer-friendly, shareable MP4 file, ready to upload to Screencast.com, your blog, or a website. Well, it's time for you to try Camtasia Studio out for yourself using the content on the timeline. 
The help file in Camtasia Studio will help you use each of the Camtasia Studio features and applications. The Learning Center on TechSmith.com has in-depth video tutorials and other sample projects to download and practice with. So we hope you enjoy Camtasia Studio. And happy screencasting!